When we have a panel that we say is a 200 amp panel, what are we actually talking about? So you'll see this panel and this panel are the same thing. They're both 30 space panels, meaning you could put 15 breakers up on one side and 15 breakers on the other side. Uh, this is a three phase panel, that's a single phase panel. You'll notice this one actually has a main breaker in it. This is a 200 amp main. Uh, this one doesn't, so this is what we would call a main lug panel just because there's only lugs here to use. That is what we call an MBR or a main breaker. MLO is what we would say for main lug only. But it, does any of that, does having a breaker mean that it's a 200 amp panel just because there's a 200 amp breaker? The answer is no. So you could have, this is a breaker kit that actually can be removed and then you can take a different breaker. You could put like 125 amp if you want or 150 or something like that and slap it in there. So that's just the overcurrent protection for the actual panel for the bus. So what we're really talking about that's, that's the actual panel rating is this, this little thing. Inside here, you got all these little fingers and each one of these is a bus. So you'll notice uh, if we go A phase, B phase, C phase, we've got A phase, they each come from the same direction every three. So the first, fourth, eighth, every second, fifth, and ninth, or uh, eighth, sorry, is all on B phase. And then on C phase, you've got three, six, nine, and so on. So these things are kind of staggered in here one after the other. That means that there are actually three buses inside of this panel and each bus is rated for 200 amps. That means if you didn't have anything on B phase or C phase, all A phase can handle is 200 amps. B phase can also handle 200 amps and C phase can hold 200 amps. It's essentially the same amount of material or the same amount of metal on each one of these buses. So you can't say, oh, well then that's a 600 amp panel, right? Because it can do 200 per, uh, but that's not how electrical works. We're, a lot of times we're utilizing two buses at a time. So if we have a, a whole bunch of 220 loads, you know, like two pole loads, where it's like a two pole 20 here, two pole 20 here, two pole 20 here, we're gonna be distributing the same amount of current on two of those phases at a time, or if it's a three phase breaker, we're gonna be sharing all three of those phases through a three pole breaker equally. There's not just gonna be more current on one or less current on the other. So for it to be a 600 amp panel, we'd have to have a single bus, a single phase that was rated at 600 amps and then all the other ones would have to be rated at 600 amps as well. So the actual enclosure, the box itself has nothing to do with the 200 amp thing. The lugs don't have anything to do with the 200 amps. The neutral bus doesn't have anything to do with the 200 amps. The actual ground bus, none of that stuff it has nothing to do with the 200 amps. The, the actual lugs themselves are sized based off of the conductor size that it can allow, but it's the same material essentially, so they don't ever come with an ampere rating for the lugs. The only thing that's talking about the ampere rating is the actual load center, the actual uh, guts of this thing, or what we call the panel board. Now, a lot of you might not realize that these things come out. So sometimes if you damage one, I actually did one time when I was an apprentice. Actually, I think I had just gotten my residential wireman's license. And what I did is I, uh, I left one of the conductors, like when I tightened them all down, I didn't realize that I didn't get one of them all the way tight. So there was a little bit of an air gap. And what it did is create a really a hot spot because there was all this arcing and there was a very, very uh, high impedance point where current was uh, heating up the insulation on the conductors and it actually heated up this entire lug so it was glowing red hot. And this was stupid, I know, but hey, we all do dumb stuff when we're apprentices, right? So we actually had to replace the entire panel board inside of that enclosure. So you can actually get just a panel board if something's messed up with another panel board. You don't have to get the entire panel. You can order these from the supply house, but we had to take the uh, existing panel board out. We had to put a brand new panel board in, you know, so we just got rid of that issue. Um, so these things actually just snap right into place. Each one of these little fingers lines up. There's a screw right here. Put that screw, tighten it down. That's what holds it to the back because there's little threaded holes in the back of this thing that holds it in place. That is what a 200 amp panel actually means. Make sure you join Discord. That's where our entire community is moving over to. We've got classes that instructors are leading. We've got a whole bunch of different courses. We've got practice exams, all this stuff uh, for all of our members. But join Discord because that's free.
Now, if you guys are more curious about how breakers work and what breakers are, you should check this video out right here. Um, if you're more curious about like the difference between single phase and three phase and you wanna understand what all of that means, you should check this video out right here. Love you crazy people. See you in the next one.